Hello everyone, today's session we are going to discuss the differences between the count star, the count 1 and the count column name queries in SQL. This is also one of the questions asked commonly in interviews so stay tuned. So I have this table, called the employee table. It has some 10 records on it and we have the first name, last name and birth date, we are going to run a count query on the last name column. So first of all, let's see if there's any difference in the results we obtain using the count star and the count 1 queries. So if I do count star on this table, I get the count, which is 10 records if I replace the star with a 1. I would still get the same count. So this is everybody has this understanding and they know that the count star and count 1 queries are going to keep the same result. But there is a belief in some people that the count 1 query is faster than the count star query. So is it really faster? The answer is no, it is not faster. They have the same almost the same execution plan which we can see and we'll see in a while so they have the same execution plan at the back end, they are not faster the star or the 1 or any other number that you put on this query. So instead of putting a 1, you can also, let's say put a count 4 so would that result in a different count? No, and we don't even have 4 columns in this query. So count 1 does not work like that, it just counts on the first column. 1, star, 4 or whatever constant value you put in here is simply the value assigned by SQL in the back end to each row and then a count of that value is done, which in turn gives you the final count, which is the count of all the rows in your table. So they are not faster now to make more sense of that point. Let's go and run these queries on a bigger table. So I've got this table over here, which is the factory seller sales um this has comparatively more records than what we have. In the other table that we were using, if I do a select on this query, you would see over here and there are some 60,855 rows in this table. Okay, so now I'm going to convert this query to a count star query. And execute this. And we get the result over here. And now let's open a new window within. Let us count one query on the table. Okay, so we have the result. So let's go back to count query, execute this. You have the result over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the execution plan over here so that we can see what it actually happens in the back end. So I'm going to include actual execution plan and now execute this query. And now once I have included the execution plan, you'll see that there's another tab that has come over here called the execution plan. If I click on it, I would see an execution plan so you can see that there is some execution happening over here and you have all the details if you hover on that, you would see all the details. But in short, this stage of execution took about 7 seconds. It seems, and this is the cost this is just 3%, whereas the cost of the scan is 97%. Now let's include the same execution plan on the count 1 query that we have written. So go to query, and click on include actual execution plan and then execute the query. So you will see that there's an execution plan tab that has come over here. If I click on that execution plan tab, I can see how many seconds it took to run this aggregation state. You just 0.275 seconds and here it was 0.007 seconds. So it's still 3% and the cost of the last stage is 97%. And if I go over here, this is also 3% and 97 seconds. But if you look at the seconds. It took around 0.275 seconds when we wrote count 1 and when we wrote count star it took about 007 seconds. So that is only how it happened in the back end. We don't have a very huge table that we're going that we are working with. That's why there's slight differences in the time that actually that aggregation took for the count star or count 1 and if you take a closer look, it actually shows that count 1 took a little more time in aggregation than the count star. Okay, so count 1 cannot be faster than count star. But the real answer is that both of them perform in exactly the same way at the back end, the same execution plan is generated for both of them and it takes the same amount of time. So now we've discussed about the count star and count 1 and we are saying that they give same performance. So let's go back and change this to count star, but there is another count that we can do and that is on the column name. So if we take a look back at the data in this table, we do an execute, we can see that we have some 10 records and we are going to count in the last name column. And if I take a close look at the last name column, I see that there's some duplicates. 
and the data there are also some null values. So now instead of writing count star or count one, what I'm going to do is write count of name and execute this query. So now if I write count of last name, I've got the result as nine and not 10. So though there were 10 records have got the result as nine. So going back to a query. So instead of count, let's put a star again. So we can see what might be the reason that we've got 9 in the output and not 10 records because one of the records was null. So when you do count of the column name, it does not count any null values. It counts all the not null values in that column. So I did count of column, which was last name, so it counted all records except the null records. So this is how it works differently from count star or count one statement will count all the records in table but count on column name would count all the non-null records on that column. Now we also see that there are some duplicates. So what if you want to count or find out the count of only the distinct values in this particular column, and obviously you can do a count. Distinct last name, and you have got seven distinct values in the last name column. That's why you have got an output as seven. So this is how these different count statements work and this is how they can be compared to each other. I hope that this will help you in answering the interview questions if you found the video useful, then please like comment and share this video and also please do not forget to subscribe to a YouTube channel because we will be posting many more videos soon. Thanks a lot for watching goodbye.